Precious Bible Promises, Part 1, Chapter 4, Continued, Glory in Heaven. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Matthew thirteen forty three. That, when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. 1 Peter four thirteen. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. For the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. 2 Timothy 2.10 If children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. The sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8, 17 and 18 Our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, whilst we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians 4, 17 and 18 They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness shall be as the stars for ever and ever. Daniel 12, 3 The Kingdom of Heaven It is your Father's good pleasure to give you the Kingdom. Luke twelve thirty two. The Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. 2 Timothy four eighteen. Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew twenty five thirty four. An entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 1, 11. I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Luke twenty two twenty nine and 30. The heavenly inheritance. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints is. Ephesians 1.18 Who hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. 1 Peter 1, 3 and 4 Enjoyment of God So shall we ever be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians four seventeen. With thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. Psalm 36, 9 As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Psalm seventeen fifteen. The throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Revelation 22, 3 and 4. Eternal Life but the righteous into life eternal. Matthew twenty five forty six. This is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. 1 John 2, 25 Verily, verily, I say unto you, 
He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. John 6, 47. See verses 51 and 54. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6, 23. He that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Galatians 6, 8. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels. Luke twenty thirty six. In hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began. Titus 1, 2. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life. John 10, 27 and 28 Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. John eleven twenty five and 26 To them who by patient continuance in well-doing Seek for glory and honour and immortality, eternal life. Romans 2, 7 God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. 1 John 5, 11 and 13 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John three, sixteen. End of chapter 4 End of part 1